Hey friends, today we are checking into Disney's Boardwalk Resort and I am so excited because it is the 4th of July. I wanted to come and do a nice little vacation and have a cookout for the 4th and the Boardwalk Resort is the perfect spot because we plan on going to Epcot later to watch the 4th of July fireworks. So I'm going to give you a resort tour, show you the room, the pool, the cookout area and I figured uh, we'd ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful or I should say a happy 4th of July. So anywho's, let's go do this. Here it is, Disney's Boardwalk Resort. I love staying here. I think this is one of the coolest looking hotels that have so many amenities. And you have the whole boardwalk to explore at night. And uh, it's going to be a fun 4th of July. Disney's Boardwalk Resort is also a deluxe Disney resort and on a holiday weekend like this on the 4th of July this room could go for uh, probably well over a thousand dollars a night only because it's close proximity to Epcot so you can walk out of Epcot and be in your bed probably within five minutes uh, so it's gonna be cool to hang out here and I want to show you around and take in all the amenities and hang out by the pool because it has an awesome slide and enjoy the fireworks tonight the fireworks at Epcot for the 4th of July are probably the best fireworks I've ever seen in my life. I love the boardwalk lobby and it's so cool because it has one of the castles from every single Disney park around the world on these murals up here and it's something cool to come and hang out and try to figure out what castle belongs to what park uh, but I think we're gonna head up to the room our, uh, our room is ready and I want to get all settled in I brought my public suitcase with me today I'm also excited to show you guys the newly renovated rooms here at the Boardwalk. This is going to be one of the new renovated one-bedroom villas. And I saw pictures online and they look pretty fancy. But let me know in the comments what you think if you've ever stayed here at the Boardwalk. If you like the older look or you like uh, the more updated look when I uh, show you around the room. Here it is, the newly renovated villas at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. And I have to say, I love it. I love the Boardwalk artwork on all of the walls, including the Murphy bed over there. The carpet is nice, uh, the little dining room. And like I said, this is a one bedroom villa. And wait till I show you guys around. It is absolutely massive. You got a full kitchen with a Keurig, a full fridge, a microwave. They even have a dishwasher. And then you have a dining room right over here. I like this little dining room set. I like the chairs, but my favorite thing is probably the uh, boardwalk uh, artwork here with Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. And then uh, this is the bathroom and the bedroom. To the left, you have a little tiny uh, entryway and a huge closet. Look, here's some more. Donald, Daisy, this is all from the boardwalk, which is what I like the most. I like it when they incorporate Disney characters into the resorts. Uh, and uh, here's the bathroom. What is this? Must be a closet. Oh, it's a washer and dryer. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Is this H2O laundry department? Uh, a laundry detergent? Laundry department. That's actually really fancy. They got the bathroom here. A nice little stand up shower. Oh, that's nice. We got some more artwork of the fountain there. And then this bathroom actually leads into the bathroom too. And uh, it comes right on over here. And then you have a huge tub with more artwork, including the boardwalk in the background. Nice little kitchen area. Kitchen area, nice little sink area. This is nice. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Look at the size of that closet. But back to the tour here. You have another tub, like I mentioned, right here, and then the sink, and then here's the bedroom itself. And it all connects, it has a lot of doors. And the bedroom is very nice. I like the headboards, the carpet. Oh, look at Fancy Goofy right here. That's adorable. Look at Daisy and Donald too. I really like the artwork in here. I think it's really, really nice. I don't think we have a boardwalk view, but we do have a combining balcony. This connects to the other balcony here. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th oh, of July. What are you doing here? What are you oh, doing? that's your balcony? This is mine. What oh, I thought this was my room. Like I mentioned, I wanted to have a cookout with some friends, so luckily we got a lot of friends hanging out, and we're all going to go to Epcot later, and this balcony actually just runs right into the uh, living room, and holy moly, look at my glasses. It is so hot and humid out right now that the second I stepped outside, 
bada bing. I don't even know if the lens is still foggy or not. But it is really cool that we have such a huge balcony. I mean, this is a huge balcony, but we don't see the boardwalk. This is actually the front of the resort. Oh, right here is the uh, main entrance where we walked in. And we can just walk alongside and then come back into the living room. Ah. Hi. We got well, the buns. Welcome, neighbor. We got the buns. We got the meats. Doritos. And some, there's just one bag of Doritos. <laughs> well, I mean, all you need for a good 4th of July cookout is some hot dogs, some hamburgers, some Doritos. That is true. You know? I think we're going to actually grab all of our uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and head down to the grilling area and cook out now. I, I didn't bring any utensils, though. You can rent them. It's a DVC resort. Oh! He knows everything. I also wanted to show you guys the Murphy bed here. This is so cool. This whole entire couch pulls down into another bed. And you know, hey, you have like this little uh, artwork on the front of Donald and Daisy. They have another like mural behind here. I'm gonna pull it down. This is really easy to pull down too. But look at that. Look at Donald and <laughs> look at Donald dreaming about riding the carousel with Daisy, just sleeping here at the boardwalk. I think that's so cozy. And at first I was like, oh man, be careful. I don't want this vase or this vase to fall over. But they got that nailed down. I think we're gonna go and explore around the resort a little bit before we have our cookout. I gotta find out where the grills are at. I have never had a cookout here before, uh, but I have cookouts like at like other resorts. Like we've done cookouts at uh, the Grand Floridian, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, the the cabins, uh, and a lot of other places. So uh, we gotta find out what we got, get our Baron Street, and then start grilling up for the fourth. I want to show you guys the hallways at the boardwalk because I think they're really cool. The carpets have hidden Mickeys on them as you're walking down. And then the light fixtures are so awesome. Look at this. Look, you can see Goofy, Donald, Mickey, all their silhouettes. And they all look so fancy. This is very nice. I'm really liking the uh, updated boardwalk rooms and hallways here. Even the fire hose valve sound looks really fancy, doesn't it? Disney's Boardwalk Resort is themed after the vintage Atlantic City kind of era. So you'll see a lot of circus uh, items, uh, a lot of carousels, and kind of just the fancy, you know what I mean? I, I, I always feel fancy whenever I come to the boardwalk. It just makes me, makes me feel all glamorous. <laughs> In the lobby, they have a lot of really cool Atlantic City history. Uh, you can see the roller coaster right here. And uh, the nanny chairs next to the fireplace. These are kind of, like a lot of people, they're, they're kind of famous because of how creepy they look. I'm pretty sure I know the history. I'm pretty sure they're called nanny chairs. And they used to be on the carousel. And they would have to sit there and watch as like the kids rode the carousel. And then, of course, you got the elephant. If anybody's from uh, up north, they you know the elephant. Look at him up there. And earlier I was talking about how the murals are all the castles from all the different parks around the world. This one right here is definitely, I think, Cinderella Castle. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but you uh, have to figure out which one is each park. You know what I mean? Because it's Disneyland Paris, Tokyo Disneyland, Hong Kong Disneyland, Shanghai Disney, uh, Walt Disney World, Disneyland and Anaheim. So you got a lot to you got a lot of you got a lot of castles. When I said I wanted to take you and basically go explore around the boardwalk, I just wanted to show you how cool and unique it is. I love everything in here. Like just walking around the halls with the hardwood floor, seeing all the artwork on the walls. It's pretty fancy. And then my favorite thing is these little uh, machines here. Like this is uh, Cat in the Bag. I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna try to, oh yeah, look, I can do it. So you look inside here and then you pull the little thing to make it into a motion picture. I'll see if I can. Isn't that so cool? The
the inside of the resort is beautiful but honestly a lot of people like it more for the boardwalk itself and the outside and when I was talking about the boardwalk view they have rooms that overlook this amazing boardwalk that people just go about their whole entire day they have so many activities live entertainment at night and it's just like I said it's, it's very fancy the main lobby is right there and all the rooms our room is actually over this way but you just walk down and you're on the boardwalk you can rent a surrey bike if you wanted to look at that honestly i love coming here it's just so beautiful just walking around the boardwalk hi all right well i'm starting to get a little bit hungry so i came back up to the room and i think we're going to start getting ready and gathering up all the hot dogs and the hamburger buns and see if we can get some utensils somewhere i think sean mentioned that we can get them at the community hall and find out where the grills are and go grill a little bit i'm excited i you know i love i love celebrating the holidays but I, for the longest time i wanted to have a nice fourth of july cookout it's, a, it's something i've just been wanting to do for a while because uh, usually i'm out in the parks and stuff like that uh this will be the first time like you know while i get to like just celebrate the fourth of july cooking out at the boardwalk it is good to actually point out that they do have like regular plates in here too look at they have like full china they have a whole baking dish right there they have cups wine cups. glasses and all your plates are right here nice what's this the fine boardwalk china i like it that's the cheese and the hamburger. The cheese and the, and the ham? The fireworks aren't until like 9 p.m. tonight. So like I said, I want to have a cookout. I want to hang by the pool. It is super hot out. Right now it's currently 92, but on the uh, weather app, it says it feels like it's 103. And then tonight it's going to be 85 degrees at night. 85 degrees at night. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited. This is I love doing staycations and I love doing cookouts at resorts. I don't know why I love cooking out at Disney. I'm holding something. I got something. I got the buns. And I, got... I got the buns. I got the tongs and the paper towels. The tongs? Yeah, the tongs. I think the grills are over here by the quiet pool. And it's convenient because our room is actually at the end of this building. So we could just walk down the steps. And we also have the quiet pool like all to ourselves over here. Well, probably not today because it's 4th of July. And it uh, feels like it's 103 degrees out. Almost every other DVC resort has like gas grills, but this one, it's got like a behemoth charcoal grill. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it is a huge charcoal grill. Gotta get nice and clean. They actually rent out the utensils for uh, the grill inside the community hall. How much does it cost? Cool. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, it's free? Resort, yeah. Look, Except you got everything there. Things are missing, they charge you $25. $25 and we had to uber eats uh, charcoal so we had charcoal delivered to us and it was just 10 minutes away and uh, look at that usually they have uh, gas grills at all the DVC resorts but they got this behemoth of a charcoal grill I know, like a pizza oven. I, know. I think we're gonna light it we got the insta light though are you lighting it here let me see I'll light it it's not working oh there it is the fire oh it's working We got the ground round burgers. What seasoning did you put on this? Garlic and herb. Garlic and herb. Fancy. We had to use the foil. Nate always yells at me for using foil, but it was his idea this time because this grill was so dirty. It is pretty bad. Normally, I would never condone using foil when grilling, but uh, needed some TLC on the grill. Here, season up, season up the rest of them. I got the two. Where's it at? Right there. <laughs> Look at that, nice and shaken. Now we're gonna put the hamburgers on the bottom. What do we do? Just hanging out by the pool, grilling up. Community hall over there, 4th of July. Couldn't ask for a better day. It's all about the quarter turn. You gotta have nice seasoned burgers bloop, and some perfectly grilled dogs on a 4th of July. We're going to have to uh, put the buns down. we got to toast the buns. Oh, yeah. Got to toast the buns. Oh, yeah, get them some seasoning in there. There it is. Look at 
I hear the rain coming, guys. Oh boy. Oh, look at the clouds over there, though. Do you hear it? I just, I just got hit with rain. Yeah, look at the ground. Uh oh. These burgers aren't gonna cook in time. It says light rain for uh, the next 15 minutes. And I think we're just gonna hold it down. I think we're just gonna hold down the grill. I mean, maybe the rain will come and go. If not, I'm gonna be eating my hot dogs during a rainstorm. It smells so good though, honestly. Just looking at it, grill in there. Oh no, I think, I, I think the light rain is turning into some big droplets. <laughs> I'll go down with the food, guys. You go take everything inside. We're sacrificing Nate. Yo, you got your hands on those, right on the, uh, is it not hot? You're gonna burn it? Aw, thank you. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, and grill it up too in a rainstorm. <laughs> the burgers are just about done, but the rain ain't stopping and everything is soaked down here. So I think we're gonna go upstairs and eat them in the room. We're gonna have a hot dog eating contest. I think I can get one bite hot dogs in, but the oh. buns are too, the brioche buns. Oh, the, look at that. The buns are your excuse then? No, cause I can dip them in water. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's Don't how you do it. <laughs> It's not about how big of a bite you can do. You have to do it real quick, like. <laughs> Stop doing that! <laughs> it looks like it's still raining out. We might not have the glorious 4th of July we thought we were gonna have, but at least we're at the boardwalk. We might as well just go around and explore around the resort. I'll show you some of the cool lounges and uh, probably get maybe a little uh, sweet treat. <laughs> a little sweet treat. Yeah, a better one. Watch there's a gas grill. The sun <laughs> will come out on the 4th of July. I don't think so. No. It looks like it's peeking out though. It looks like it's getting a little better out. Just some little light sprinkles, but uh, I think we're gonna go get some ice cream. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. The boardwalk can be very slippery when it's rainy out, so make sure you uh, tread carefully. And uh, I think we're gonna go down to the ice cream. I wish they'd bring back Ample Hills. I'd like their Rice Krispie Treat ice cream there. This is just, I think, Disney Rand. I don't think it's a third party anymore. Look at that. It's starting to look a little bit better. They have tons of different food locations all along the boardwalk. You have the bakery here, you have the Abracadab bar, you've got Trattoria El Forno, and I think they shut down uh, the brewery that used to be there, uh, Big River. Uh, I think that's closed and something else is opening there. And then uh, Cake Bake, the new uh, cake restaurant, is going to be opening up where ESPN uh, used to be. Sean got the triple scoop. I got the triple little 4th of July scoop. It's a nice old bite. Vanilla, coffee, cookies and cream. I love the ice cream in there, but I'm really looking for something like more like a little pastry or, you know, like a sweet treat treat. And I think I'm going to order, maybe mobile order something from the bakery. It's right next door. And they usually have some really cool things. It's kind of like a New York bakery. And on the mobile ordering, I think they have like a New Jersey uh, crumb cake. New Jersey, New Jersey crumb cake. Well, take a look at this. This is the New Jersey crumb cake. I don't know much about crumb cakes up in New Jersey because I don't think I've had one up there, but if this looks accurate, let me know. It looks good though. I'm excited to give it a try. Just hanging out at the boardwalk during a rainstorm, eating some New Jersey crumb cake. Mmm. It's actually pretty good, but it's not very crummy. Like I was thinking it was gonna crumble apart, but it's holding holding well pretty strong. Pretty sturdy. I don't know though. The more and more, I think this is like a different base than the normal crumb cake. It also feels a little cold, so maybe it might have been frozen at one point in time, but I still like it. 
Enough of the food. It's time for us to start making our way over to Epcot. It's going to be pretty chaotic once I get in there. And we're getting there a little late. So we're going to have to scramble around to find a fireworks spot. You know what I mean? I've seen the fireworks before. It's absolutely stunning. And the best place to probably go is center in the middle there. But you have to like stake out that spot like probably four or three hours ahead. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are just sitting there waiting it because it's a big deal. Like, you know what I mean? These fireworks, like I said, they really shake the whole entire area. And uh, I'm excited. Hopefully the rain stays away, though. Uh, it looks clearer now, but I I'm, I'm hoping for a nice, not like soggy 4th of July. I'm probably sure the boardwalk is going to be a wild time later tonight after Epcot closes. A lot of people will probably come over here to go to Jelly Rolls and the dance hall. But look at it right now. It's be bopping. There's a guy balancing on some chairs over there. Wow, it's actually turning out to be a very beautiful night. Look at that sunset over there. Cotton candy skies. I think that's the most Florida-ish thing I've ever like recorded. That was like beautiful. Look at this. We are just in time. The fireworks start at 9 and then 9.20 for the 4th of July fireworks. And look, you can actually see the firework cruises going out and getting ready. The bridge is loaded with people. A lot of people have been probably holding down a good spot for a couple hours now. I don't like this firework viewing so much because you only go underneath that bridge. You don't actually get to go out there. So the people that are in the boats get the same view as the people that are on the bridge, really. But it is really cozy hanging out in there. Get to just relax, chill. I like it. I've done them before. This is definitely what I was talking about with the levels of crowds. And this music kind of gets me excited. This music has like that little like kind of club like feeling to it like dun 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 I can hear it. Wow, an hour to go into the fireworks. I'm not too sure where to go. We're going to find the probably, honestly, anywhere you stand. I mean, they're going to be shot off all the way around World Showcase. So you're going to be able to see fireworks in the sky, basically, all the way back by Spaceship Earth. Oh, and I bet you they usually light that up with like red, white, and blue, too. I know, uh, look at that. There's Spaceship Earth right there. Right there. All lit up with the American, the red, white, and blue. Yeah, that's that's my first time seeing it. Really? Yeah, I'm excited. Right now, it looks like the Pepsi. The Pepsi. Yeah. I think we're going to hang out here uh, at the uh, top of the Mexico Pavilion and watch the first show because it doesn't jump right into the 4th of July fireworks. There's the, uh, like, uh, the uh, Luminous show first, and then it's them. So maybe we'll go down and find a nice little spot once the lights go down and everyone's watching the fireworks mid-show. I don't think I'm going to record any of the regular show. I just want to show you the 4th of July fireworks. So I'm going to hang out here and I don't know exactly where I'll end up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we might just wait up here or I might brave it and try to get down there and kind of get you a little closer look. Oh my lord, I think it's happening. Is it starting? Oh no, that's just the music. <laughs> We really can't see much of the center part from up here, but I'm loving how these fireworks, we have it like all to ourselves here. Woo! Oh boy. All right, that was the finale for uh, the regular show. And, oh, here we go. Oh my. Fourth of 
July. Today we celebrate generations of people from all walks of life who have woven their stories together to form this tapestry that is the United States of America. Join us now in a salute to the enduring spirit of the American people who stand together and become the heartbeat of freedom. and sing till earth and heaven ring ring with the harmonies of liberty Fortunately, we are staying right here so we don't actually have to try to get out of the parking lot But can you imagine what the parking lot would be like if this is the mass exiting happening right now? As I was oh, thank you, man. Tell your grandkids. I said hi <laughs> Happy 4th of July as I was walking through the park uh, like trying to leave uh, uh, this little girl came up to me and she gave me this envelope and I just wanted to say thank you so much Brooke look at that it's Gracie to BG Mr. Marl she brought that here for me and I thought that was amazing so thank you so much Brooke and we stopped in here just to get some AC before we try to get through the big crowd of people it's dying down one of the biggest tips is uh, try not to rush out of the park and just stay you know still for a little bit and let the crowds you know dwindle down but this isn't too bad 
We made it back to the boardwalk and I am whooped. It has been a very interesting day. I mean, I wanted to have a cozy little 4th of July, like, you know, cookout, but the rain got the best of us, but I can now remember and look back. Where was I, you know, July 4th, 2024, I was getting caught in the rain during a cookout at the boardwalk. And I think that's, a, uh, you know, I, I like it. You gotta always have a positive twist on things. And all my friends are the same way, even, you know, cause like when I'm sitting out there trying to grill, I'm like, oh, this isn't exactly, you know, how it's going. They really were trying to put like a positive spin on it for me, keep me going, and they really did. So uh, at the end of the night, I had a wonderful ha uh, 4th of July. The fireworks were amazing. It was very foggy and smoky and it kind of added to the effect with the lasers but uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night get some sleep and uh, bring in July 5th <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye